I just brought all my batteries into work. I brought uh, three 30 cell clusters. There's still one left I didn't glue together. As you can see, they're all hot glued on the sides of them. So they're all staying together properly. This top pack is just laid on top of the other ones because I'm just, uh, they're all just sitting here right now on a piece of aluminum. I'm still trying to size them out before I completely build the pack. Found out that I had a lot more room in the frame than I expected because I could almost put twice as many batteries in here. That bottom strip is uh, 36 volt, 10.8 amp hours, supposedly. So, still a lot more potential. But, I just uh, had to bring these in here so I can get a proper fit before I start building them and finish gluing everything. I uh, think I'm going to make the pack longer. I can still fit uh, eight more cell strips up top, all the way up to the top. I was thinking about putting the controller up there though, so maybe I won't do that. Still have to ponder it a little. But I uh, put back together the 48 volt uh, 10 amp hour LifePo battery pack. I took all the duct tape off of it today, and uh, as you can see, there's the connections I added with the 10 gauge wire to uh, series the three packs that I made it. Now it's back to one, so I can take those solder connections off and. Uh, glue the batteries back together and get it back to its rightful state because I'm not going to be using this battery pack anymore. Uh, also what else I did today is I came over here and made a little cardboard mock out of my rear axle. This is going to be for a torque arm and what I did here is I got some galvanized steel sheeting and I you know, basically drew a layout. You can't really see it in the camera but I basically just did an outline of this that I made out of cardboard here with some scissors and I'm going to cut it out and start working on it to get some torque arms on the bike. Now, torque arms are recommended for really anything uh, above 36 volts, uh, 30 amps, especially on front hubs. It's uh, definitely recommended. It's basically a necessity. I've been shying away from them. I've been running at 48 volts the entire time and I haven't really had much of an issue, but at the same time I'm, I'm very safe and I check my tire pressure and I check my connections and I check my bolts to see if they've come loose a lot. And at the same time I don't ride too crazy either. I pedal with the bike and just commute with it. But my next build, I'm stepping up to 72 volts as you know, and I'm building the battery pack right now. I actually hot glued all my cells together last night and uh, it looks like they're going to fit in the frame nicely. But Anyway, now that I'm at 72 volts, I find it's a good idea to get some torque arms. So I'm going to be cutting this stuff out of this uh, galvanized metal here. And this is for the left side of the bike, not the derailleur side. The derailleur side is going to be a little bit more of a problem, but this is going to be a nice fit on the bike. I'll actually bring the plate over here and show you how it fits on the bike. I have a regular rear rim on it right now, so you can't really get the best idea on how it's going to fit, but I even made it so that little left part is going to tuck into the little spot on the frame here, and just go right in it, and I'm going to drill out the bolts up here that would attach to my disc brake, and I'm going to use those to support the metal torque arm in, in place. So, time to get started on it, let's see what I get. Okay, back to the torque arm. So the first thing I did here was uh, I outlined it on a piece of galvanized uh, metal. And after that, I used a couple of C-clamps and clamped it down to a workbench. And I used a orbital jigsaw with a metal blade. And I cut the piece out that I'm going to be working with. I started with a flat edge and uh, you know just cut out what I could. And now I'm going to try to get all the small cuts and uh, clean it up to get it to... Uh, to about the size that I got it on the marker here. So now let's see how precise I can get with a jigsaw and the stuff that I can't get with the jig I'm going to have to file by hand and then smooth out and then I can uh, get a template going for starting to make the holes into it where I'm going to mount it and where my axle is going to go through. And there you have it. I got the whole thing cut out the only spot I really had an issue with was uh, right there on that inside corner. I'm going to have to take a file of that, but otherwise most of it cut pretty easy and uh, I think this is going to work out nice. 
just got to sand it all down and make it nice and pretty. Maybe get a little paint on it after we get all the holes drilled. But uh, this is just the left side, so I still have to do the right side. Haven't uh, came up with a mock of that yet. Maybe I'll do that tomorrow. But for now, I think this is where uh, I'm going to stop today and uh, get out of here and head home. This is Scott signing out.